Right, so this game is the game. If we win it, we win the league. If we lose it, we're, we're probably still going to win the league. But I believe Fleetwood the only one of the only teams to beat us this season. So if we can we can put them away, show them show them who we really are, and uh, then that will be nice. We've got a couple of players that I might try and try and pick up for the championship next year because we are already promoted. So is what it is. Space. One grey. Oof. Please don't lose to Fleetwood. Good save, Nigeria. Drive that away. Of course, he is about 8,000 feet tall. They've started quite hot, to be fair, Fleetwood. Oh, Newell. Good hit. Good hit. This is the longest highlight I've ever seen. Oh, what a save. Another corner. <laughs> it's hard to go end at some point, right? Some point? Yep, there it is. Nice copying. Come on. Oh, come on, Scott. You've got to put that in. Nice deep free kick. And it's disallowed. Go on, Gray. He hasn't scored for a few games, which is concerning. The tackle. What? It did look like a headbutt to be fair. Oh, that's such a good goal. Andy Gray told me to shut up and talk, stop talking about him not scoring. Lovely little one-two with Newell there. One. Off you go. Great finish. Now 12 points clear at the top. Although these games haven't played yet, so that doesn't really matter. Another 45 and the title comes to Dorking. What a goal that is. Oh, that is so unfair. Oh my God. What a goal that was. Like miles off to be fair. That's got to be the best disallowed goal I've ever seen. Oh, you dirty bastard. I think it's got to be, I think I've got to bring on that Rourke to be fair for the last 10. I want to see him lift the trophy. Come on. Six minutes extra time, where have you got that from? It's only been one goal. <sighs> there it is. Dorking Wanderers are champions. Who the fuck is this guy? top league goal scorer. Very nice. And we have a new chairman. Mark White. He is gone. What? What's happened? There are no plans to provide any investment. Shock. Uh, Fabio Serra is our new man. 
happy with me. Uh, are you excited to be working under a new boss? Why can I say no? I miss Mark White. Uh, it's an exciting time, why not? Let's not piss him off. And Jason Pry has been offered the Carlisle job. Oh no. Uh, I hoped he was going to go to Ipswich. And it's, well, it's the Ipswich job. Even, yeah, and he's a favourite for it. Come on, man. Take a better job. Let's see if he'll stay. Uh, what can I do for you? I don't want to lose you. It's nice to know you wanted. I'm not going anywhere. That's the man. That's my boy, Jason. I didn't actually think that our, our youth intakes could get any worse. Right, I've had to come back for this because Wolves have offered me a job interview. Now, I'm looking for something to stream. So, I'm going to save this game with the Wolves interview. I'm not going to take it in this series, but I'll link my Twitch below. And at some point, if I get this job, I will stream that. I guess I'll see you for the end of season review after Newport. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so that was probably about a second for you, but for me, that was about half an hour. It's time for end of season review with Dorking Wanderers, the champions of League One. Ah, doesn't that feel good? So Dion Dunn is out on loan. He's got 25 goals in Wales. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with him just yet. He might... He might go out on loan. Maybe Andy Newell goes out on loan. I'm not sure. But Andy Gray is obviously the signing of the season. He scored 21 goals. Look at the goals from players that we've signed this year. 21, 12, 15, 16, 10. This is ridiculous. We got goals absolutely everywhere. Even Bobby Copping. What did they make of the deck deal? Yeah. I mean, he's a good player. I don't know what he'll do next year, but he's a good player. Very happy with the Bobby Copping deal. But the Ricardo, yep. Kinsella. Only a B. And a D for Alec Bellis. Oh, well, he is, he is on £3,000 a week, I suppose. So that does make sense. But he scores goals. He scores a lot of goals. 20 contributions in 27 starts is pretty good. Yeah, so we did well signing, guys. What about out? What about our transfers out? What are they happy with? Lindley went. None of these really matter. Uh, they what? I didn't loan Dave Fleming to Grimsby. He's on loan at Grimsby from Middlesbrough. I for sure didn't do that. Tizard's fine. Blake fine. They're not happy with Marquez Muir because they thought we could have got more money. But I mean, what's five grand? McCulloch, yeah, we sold him for three million. Yeah, we did well. We did well in terms of sales. And in terms of results, it's me and Coventry that are for sure going up. Ipswich lost on the final day and Ipswich won, which meant they go up. But look at this run of form. We didn't lose for the first three months, pretty much. Oh no, two months. The third month we lost our first game in November. And then we went on another run of only... Okay, we lost three games in that many games. And then we didn't lose again until recently where I lost to Swindon. <laughs> ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, biggest win, 8-0, obviously. Match to remember was a 3-2 away against Wickham, who got relegated, actually. I don't... Can I go... I'll, I'll have a look after, but Wickham went down. The finances, our broadcast revenue is down. Interesting. Well, there's only two grand difference in competition prize money. Um, O'Rourke, Newell, 
Vector is actually leaving us for Livingston. He came to me and asked to leave. And he, he's, he can't stay fit, so it makes sense to see him off. Oh, I wanted to see that, actually. I made a mistake. I won League One of the Month twice in a row. You love to see it. Andy Gray scored the most goals. Worst discipline. I think you mean best discipline. 15 yellow cards. What a man. Fidel Rocks officially are our longest, uh, our most goals scored. Barry Fuller is the oldest player still. He played in the most recent game as a, as a little send-off, but uh, he is soon to leave us and become an under-18s coach with us still. James Maxwell, we sold for £3 million. Yeah, right. So that's uh, so it's Wimbledon, Wickham, Yeovil and Walsall all went down. I tried to save the Dons on the final day by beating Newport, but Wimbledon lost away to Coventry 1-0. It's unfortunate, but and there's not really any teams. Walsall only just came down, actually. Walsall... Yeah, Walsall only just got relegated. Oh, damn it. Wait, what was the bit I wanted to see? This bit. Okay. So, our top scorers, Andy Gray and Fidelo Rourke, both scoring 21. But Andy Gray got six assists, and Fidelo, Fidelo Rourke only got three. And McPherson got 11 assists and eight goals this year, instead of the other way around. But Osu got 13 assists. Is that in the league as well? 10 in the league. Does that? I've done it again, haven't I? Ah. Oh, Damn it. I need to stop doing that. Either way, very, very good uh, set of stats for everyone. Fantastic quote there from Darren McGowan. Absolutely incredible. Couldn't have put it better myself. Oh, and on his final day, he's the oldest, oldest player to play in League One. Oh, yay. He did it. What a man. What a man. So, ooh, interesting. He's not good enough for the championship. But uh, Osu and Scott High got put into the uh, best team. Zek Medley also got put in at left back alongside Copping, Parker, Fuller. Yeah, that's, that's a good team. I like that team a lot. Uh, so what do you think? Play defensively solid possession football, high tempo pressing, entertaining football. Uh, that one and that one do not go hand in hand. Defensively fo solid football and entertaining football do not go hand in hand. Fight bravely against relegation. Yeah, whatever. Except let's see what's going on here. Uh, discuss plans. Right. This is going to be difficult because... Hmm. You're all done brilliantly to get us promoted, and even though we'll probably come back down, I'm going to give us the best chance of a winning relegation by bringing in some new faces. That makes sense. I'll say that one. I'm glad you'd be sanctioning some new players will make everyone even more eager to win their place in the team, and that can only be good. That's exactly the sort of reaction I was after, Fidel. Uh, once you've all gone on your holidays, we can discuss promises for next season. That sounds good to me. Perfect. That's a good pre-season team talk. Let's have a quick look at the dynamics. See how that's going. Everyone apart from Vector supports me because he's on his way to Livingston. It's a shame he never worked out really because he is a very, very good player. He just His injuries are just too much look at that all of that is me it's a shame it's a shame uh, so O'Rourke Proctor and Copping are our leaders uh, Proctor's going to be going at the end of the season isn't he or is he here until ne end of next season no he's here until until the end of the season uh, but if they get relegated maybe he'll maybe he'll want to leave we could bring him in as, as a bit of backup only an A- minus. Is that for real? We won the league by 12 points. Have a day off. Mm. So, in... Let's have a look at the other leagues as well. In the Premiership, 
Premiership, Premier League, uh, Norwich, West Brom and Brentford we're going to have the face next year. Uh, but we won't have the face. Cardiff, Sunderland or Peterborough got relegated. Now that's interesting. They've got some very, very decent players. Whoa, so many players on the transfer list. Sammy Smodix. Anyone on here that might actually be decent for me? Frankie Kent. Maybe. No, probably not actually. Interesting. I'm going to have to have a look through all of the players that have been transfer listed by uh, by Peterborough because there could be some very, very interesting ones, including Jack Taylor. I am I am intrigued by Jack Taylor. However, he is on £12,000 a week, so that would be a quarter of our, our um, wage budget. Hopefully, I can get some good teams involved. He wants to move to a bigger club. Explain what you mean by bigger club. Does that just mean championship? Because if so, I'll have you, Ashley Marsh. We also won't be playing against Sunderland or Cardiff. Cardiff went down. All three of these, I think, have offered me job interviews in the past. But Cardiff is a very interesting one because I know they've got lots of players as well that, that would slot nicely into my team. Kiefer Moore is still playing football. I think it was about 70. Sunderland as well. They've got some decent players. Flynn Downs. I know Flynn Downs. You're a good player. Who are you wanted by? Premier League teams. Okay, so that's not happening. Max Power's on the transfer list. Max Power. Max Power. Hmm. I'm, yes. If I can... I'm bringing Max Power to Dorking Stadium. And on that bombshell, thank you very much for joining me this year. Well, this season, end of season five, Dorking Wanderers go up as champions. And I've got a serious, serious rebuild to try and uh, try and stay up in the championship next year. (laughs) 